Hey everyone, it's Ben from Cloudbeat, and in this video I'll be giving you a quick overview on uh, the most common commands that we have in the Oxygen IDE. And I made a little script right here, which I'll show you in a second. Um, you can also go to help and add documentation, which is what I clicked here. And then once you open the documentation, you go to API reference and the web model. All the methods, commands um, listed in here have description to any of them. Uh, you just click any, any command and you can see the description of the command of what it does. So, okay. Now after we figure this out, um, Let's start with this command. It's called the web init. It's a short for uh, initialize. Yeah, initialize a new Selenium session. Um, it simply opens the browser and uh, starts a session. So every script that you write needs to start with uh, this command. All right, the second command is open. Open is simply opening a URL. Um, it is given as a string, of course. So after you initialize a session, you want to open uh, the correct URL, just like here. Um, this one is type. You simply give a locator, and uh, the second parameter would be what you want to type. Um, this kind of command is usually for input type of uh, elements or text fields. Um, web click this one simply clicks an element so you just give it the locator and um, it simply clicks it uh, web pause um, pause is the amount of uh, time in milliseconds that you want to wait until uh, you do the next command which is this one so in this one you have to you're you're waiting for 10 seconds until you do this one all right, so this one is a select window. It, uh, what it does is if you click an element and it opens a new window, then you need to focus on a new window. So you simply pass this command. You leave it empty, and it chooses uh, the most recent window that you open. Wait for exist simply uh, waits for an element to fully load on the page. So you just pass it a parameter. And um, that's it. It waits till it loads. Wait for visible is waiting till it's visible on the page. So that's a little different because this one doesn't have to be visible, but it can exist. Um, click hidden when the element is not um, clickable, like let's say you're supposed to click an image or label or something like that and it's not clickable. Sometimes you get that error from Selenium server, so you simply use this command. It fixes up everything, but uh, this command is very, very, very fast, so you need to make sure you uh, do it on the right time. Uh, assert text. This is one of the fatal uh, validation that we have. Um, this one simply checks for an element and see what the expected text is. And if it's not the expected test, text that we typed here, um, the test will fail. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. Um, I hope this guide explains generally what our methods does. Um, yeah. So I'll see you guys next time on the next video. Peace out.